Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From the Series 2 Crew Productions pre-order selling out on Amazon to our first looks at G3 Core Refresh Clio, Laguna, Spectra's Cordal, Monster Fest, and more. So stay tuned and let's get into it. First up we have the G3 news here with our first looks at some of the Core Refresh dolls, Monster Fest, and G3 Core Spectra. Thanks to at ZWB521 on Amazon underscore on Instagram. We have a, a group shot of all six here. We can see Core Refresh Laguna, Cleo, Claudine, who's already been released. And then we can see the Core doll for Spectra and then Monster Fest, Claudine and Cleo. Uh, previously, we had obviously seen some stock photos for Monster Fest and Core Refresh uh, and even uh, some very blurry real life pictures of uh, Spectra and Monster Fest. But this is like our first time actually seeing them clearly, you know, real life pictures. Okay, first up, well, let's Take a look here at core refresh laguna oh my gosh she's even prettier in person um i need her oh my god i already have the um the original core dolls of the five main characters and oh god now i'm gonna have to get them again because i mean each one is like really good but this one laguna she's like my fave she the pants the ribbons um, the top, the belt, the hairstyle, the accessories, Neptuna, the, the jellyfish bag. Are you kidding me? I think she is top tier. She is like, I don't know. I think she's the best G3 Laguna doll so far, right? Am I? I think so, right? I mean, she's just so good. She She's my favorite. I can't wait to get her. She's definitely like the best, in my opinion, out of the entirety of Core Refresh. Oh, I guess Dracula is also pretty good, but, um, and Cleo, oh my gosh, I love Cleo. Okay, she's in my top, top faves for sure. <laughs> now, we don't have a close-up of Core Refresh Cleo, but, um, here she is in the main picture, so we'll just zoom in. Uh, she's also really stunning. I mean, I just love the poofy sleeves, the bandages falling from the, the sleeves as well, and then we have the, this, the skirt with the wraparound teal fabric. We have the teal choker or something around her neck, the earrings, the bangs, um, her makeup that dark lipstick is like really great uh the high ponytail and then her back his set is in a new pose um her shoes i just think she's like she's not like anything um ingenious cleo like this is like just it's pretty generic cleo like it's nothing like you know insane but it's a really good outfit because it's so simple then we have core spectra's doll and she looks actually really good um the face eats like the sunken in cheeks the popping cheekbones like she just really looks amazing with the face sculpt uh they did an amazing job really um the makeup looks great the lip gloss it's like really shimmery uh and then we have the outfit which is kind of simple um but i like it it's it, it, it's pretty good i think it's a really good outfit for her the chains the purple it's all really good the hands and legs are see-through which is great um the headpiece looks great the the hair i wear that it's Polly, but I hope it's not. Um, then her accessories are also really cute. And her pet, uh, Ruben, Ru, Ruhen. Oh, I thought it was Ruben, but I guess it's just Ruin. Okay. Um, looks really cute as well. It's like a feral, right? Um, and then her artwork looks really cute. Then we have Monster Fest Claudine here. The packaging shaping is definitely like new. It's not like the previous packaging that we've seen so far for Monster High Dolls. Um, and then here she is in the middle. She, yeah, I, I like it. The packaging's great. The displaying of the accessories around her is great. The Monster Fest logo is really like vibrant. The poster in the, you know, bottom corner. Um, it looks like she's on like a stage or something that's really fun so it definitely gives me Coachella vibes for sure um the accessories look fun and Claudine actually looks really good in person the makeup um the face actually looks really different maybe because it's like one eyebrow is like more raised than the other one mm, interesting it gives an interesting expression um but I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if this specific Claudine just got a misprinted eyebrow um but yeah the flower crown looks really detailed as well and then the furry accents on her sleeves and the boots um look really good so again the only issue really i think here is the hair if it's poly or uh not if it's poly a shame but like if not okay cute so yeah i think she's actually like um surprisingly good and lastly we have a close-up of cleo now there's a little bit of glare here so we can't see her perfectly uh but you know she's really good the packaging as well it's the same like claudine's like it's a stage scene um and then we have her accessories a lot of food related accessories her sunglasses her little camera um and then the outfit the sleeves look really good but really big in person um so maybe i don't know 
know if I actually like the sleeves or not. I, I don't know. I guess it's like the statement piece, right? Like the sleeves are the statement piece. So I guess they're supposed to pull your focus. Then the necklace looks really detailed. The, the, her crown, really detailed. I love her makeup, her side glance, her hair is pretty straight, but like it, it works. The outfit is the main attraction on the hair. Um, the belt is really chunky and big. I kind of wish that there would have been some more painted, uh, you know, details on the belt. Um, but then the pants, the pants look really good. And these are um, really similar to what actually to the to the pants that Cleo actually wears in the animated series so um yeah it look really similar but I maybe I, I wonder if this means that maybe these pants will be like the only pants we'll see Cleo wear that are as similar as gets to the animated version you know because like so far I have I don't think we've seen Cleo wear a lot of pants so yeah but these look amazing the shoes look amazing the purse is huge and chunky um yeah she's she looks great and Frankie is on her poster so that's really cool so now having actually seen two of the four monster fest dolls that are going to be sold individually it definitely makes me feel like jackie laura really got um she got robbed of a full-on individual release doll because obviously her monster fest doll is exclusive to the monster truck a food truck whatever place it and her outfit is very simple um so i really it makes me wish that they would have also done her you know Dracula's doll individually as well so they could have actually given her an amazing outfit because it seems that so far the monster fest dolls really are gonna they're going all out like even claudine looks good and like that's saying something <laughs> so i mean yeah so it seems that this is really a, a good theme um and also the core refresh duh i mean core refresh is really a strong line obviously i think each character really grew design wise and like they're experimenting more you can kind of see the evolution of the characters you know outfits and personalities and just i think the uh, designs are overall more stronger and creative so it's really great and i think so far core refresh and monster fest are shaping up to be very strong lines and uh, respectively uh and speaking of it seems that core refresh will be coming out very soon uh uh, sometime around spring and summer and then monster ball i mean monster fest uh but maybe summer but i think more like autumn season right because like last year we got monster ball around autumn time and monster fest is basically just this year's equivalent of last year's monster ball they're the same thing a big theme so uh, that's why i'll think you know, i think monster fest autumn core refresh spring summer so you know get ready save up because these are going to be um a lot to buy all together and now let's talk about the crew productions so yeah apparently they went up for pre-order uh hours ago yesterday basically on amazon uh yeah for pre-order <laughs> and i was asleep i was not awake when that happened when all of that happened and i guess they sold out very quickly so yeah of course it's, this just it gives me flashbacks to what happened with the first series of crew productions they kept you know sporadically restocking them on amazon or whatever and then if you were lucky you would get them if you're not you would not get them so it kind of feels like that same thing here but like here it was a pre-order on amazon and if you're if you're lucky enough to be around you know be awake and have the links as well be on amazon while it happened then you know good for you you got the pre-orders and from what i've seen actually um surprisingly a lot of people uh were able to get the uh, pre-orders while they were up um and from what i've seen the shipping date is sometime next week so that's you know great i mean yeah but it just sucks that they keep you know monster high mattel they keep doing this to us where they just like they they do this out of nowhere they surprise us with releases like this pre-orders and then it's like oops you're not here you know poor you <laughs> you know it just sucks but anyways the good news is that they will be releasing officially on april 1st um on across amazon and mattel creations and if you are a fan club member on mattel creations you will be able to even get earlier access to get these dolls but there is a limit of one per person thankfully so you know it'll be harder for scalpers and bots to to you know get all of them <laughs> But it'll still happen, you know, I mean, you know, I, I, I keep hoping that this thing with the scalpers and bots, you know, gets better on Mattel Creations. But it seems to me that from what I've heard that, you know, people still have issues. 
<laughs> it's still not really any better. So let's hope that they just have enough stock and that they have, you know, better security, whatever, um, to prevent this from happening. Because a lot of people have been literally waiting to get these crew productions, these series two dolls, uh, spe uh, specifically, you know, Cleo, Deuce, and Angulia. Um, the Spectre and Abby are there as well but like you know people are waiting they're really excited and i just hope it goes well um so yeah again they officially released on april 1st mattel creations earlier access if you are a member the membership costs like what 10 bucks i believe uh for the complete year um and speaking of the membership um they're also releasing a operetta fan club exclusive exclusive doll later in april <laughs> so that's happening as well so if you are a fan of a Peretta and you're planning on getting that doll anyways um then you might as well get the membership already before april 1st so you have earlier access for the crew productions uh because if you're gonna get the membership anyways for a Peretta, then you know might as well right get it for the earlier access if not then is it worth getting the membership just for the earlier access I don't know it depends how badly you really want these crew production dolls um i guess it's more likely if you have the earlier access for you to get you know your bag secured uh but i don't think you need to i think mattel creations they are prepared hopefully and if you miss out on mattel creations release then again they will release officially also on amazon there will be restocks happening for sure and from what i've heard as well they will be available on target and uh, walmart uh you know on their websites and also in store Again, surprisingly, again, I thought that they had become Amazon exclusives, you know, the Series 2 dolls. But I guess not. I guess they will also be um, in Targets and Walmart stores. So that's very exciting. So if you live close to a big Target store, Walmart, whatever, um, then, uh, you know, as soon as, it's, as soon as it's April 1st or like, I just like anytime next week you know april uh check it out check out the stores because maybe they'll have actually some in real life and also i think it's a safe bet that they will have um these crew production dolls also in the mattel store i forget where 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 the mattel store is located uh but basically yeah there's like one somewhere <laughs> i don't know but uh, if you know you know and uh if you live close to the mattel store check it out because i'm pretty sure they will have the crew production dolls as well now what happens to us international fans what's going to happen to us well um i also heard good news for international fans um i saw comments saying that they were able to actually get the pre-order uh for some of these dolls um just going just logging into amazon us and um it still worked so yeah i guess sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and it also depends again uh the price because um i heard that the shipping and also the pricing was increased a lot for international fans yeah it was crazy so it really depends like if the price was good the shipping not too much cost because of course for international fans you always got to pay more shipping it's a thing um and if you weren't able to get them then again no worries they will be restocked on amazon soon and hopefully uh they will be available on all amazon you know store uh, storefronts because uh not just amazon us uh it helps when it's uh you know your the amazon website corresponding to your country because then it's easier and you also don't always have to pay shipping so that's great um so yeah anyways um this is happening very quickly and yeah we're also getting these series one crew productions restocked later this year in september my birthday month and that's very exciting i missed out on these series one crew productions completely and never got the chance to get any of them they were just basically basically non-existent uh, where I live in Switzerland uh, in the middle of nowhere in Europe so uh, hopefully the restock later this year for the series one goals will uh, prove to be a success and I uh, just hope that the series two launch will be a success as well there will there will there will be enough restock uh, you know and there will be enough precautions that it will be you know fair to everyone getting a piece because uh, again last time it was a mess it was a massacre it wasn't pretty so i wish everyone good luck who's planning on getting any of these series two crew production dolls and then later this year of course we're getting the restock for series one i would love to get some of these crew productions because they're so iconic in the packaging i just want to keep them in box i'm lucky enough to have the originals you know still from when i when i was a child uh but yeah obviously they're unboxed and they're old <laughs> so it's just you know it's something different to have them in box and it's just like the packaging design really was just 
you know unmatched so yeah i hope to get some but you know i they're not really a priority it's more like yeah if i could and i can it would be a luxury if i if i could actually end up getting any of these crew productions but what do you think let me know down below and who is your priority of these crew productions who are you betting your money on and that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the old tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy this is